be what they call spring. I wonder what it's like up there on top of the ground instead of down here in the ground. Oh no. What else? There must be more to life than this. Just a mole. Live in a hole. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it all so much if it wasn't so, so Boring. That's it. Boring. It's also boring being a mole. Boring. Every mole should see the big bad world at least once in his life. Up we go. Onwards and upwards. about in boats. Uh, now, a step lively, Mel, in you get. But, but, but I, I've never been in a boat before. What? Never been in a boat? Dear boy, where have you been? Uh, actually, I, I've never been anywhere. Good gracious. Not anywhere? Well, <laughs> we'll have to do something about that, dear boy. Now, in you get. The old outside world, eh, Mo? What? <laughs> Pass the ham, that's a good chap. Oh, yes, Ratty. It's been just the best day of my life. And it's no small thanks to you. Look, I've got an idea. <clears throat> After lunch, I'll take you up to Toad Hall. You can meet my friend Toad. Now, pass the caviar. Toad? Full of fun, old Toad. Half a minute. <laughs> Mind you, he, he, he does tend to overdo it from time to time, but... His heart's in the right place, oh yes. Hmm. That does sound like fun, Rat. Can we go there on the river? In the boat? Of course we can. No other way to go, really. Yes, the river. The river. By the river, on the river, in the river, with the river. I say, Rat, whatever's the matter with him? Oh, old Badger's just antisocial, that's all. Hates crowds, doesn't mix. Never goes out to parties. Lives by himself in the Wildwood. Did, did you say the Wildwood, Ratty? Yes. Over there, 
See? I'll tell you this just once, Mel. Never, ever go into the wild world. It's simply not safe, even for the likes of me. It's a very queer place indeed. Ah, here we are. See? Over there. Yes, Toad Hall. The finest edifice right along the riverbed. <laughs> Makes my place look positively a hovel, Mel. <laughs> And my place like nothing more than a hole in the ground. Ah, yes. Good old Toad. <laughs> nothing my arms. He can be a fanatic, you know. It, it, it was yachting a couple of years ago. Then rowboating, then houseboating. He, he just gets quite carried away. Nothing else exists. <laughs> It's just a passing zip. I brought my friend Mole here to meet you. Mole, eh? Ah, pleased to meet you, Mole. You too, Mr. Toad. I've heard so much about you. Have you? Well, I'm not surprised. It's a lovely house, Mr. Toad. Lovely? Is that all? My dear boy, it's the best, the finest, the grandest, the biggest. Oh, Toad. That's quite enough. Now, what on earth is that? Ha! Huh. That? You mean this, Ratty? This is a whole way of life. Oh, yes. You can forget your yachts, your rowboats. Oh, old hat, this is it. This is a caravan. You are now talking to a gentleman of the highway. Now, come on, chaps. We're off. Off? Off? Yes, off. Out on the open road, the dusty highway, the heath, the common, the rolling downs, the whole world in a caravan. Life, real life. <laughs> and you want us to come? I was on my way to get you, dear fellow. Oh, Ratty, it sounds such fun. My dear Mel, what may be fun to Toad may well turn out to be complete madness to us. Oh, Ratty, don't be such a musty old fusspot. I couldn't do without you. Besides, you wouldn't deny young Mole here the chance to really see the world, would you? It's all right, Rat. I'm with you. Whatever you decide. Oh, ah, no. Look, I'm not going. Not going? Good Lord, Rat, I want to show you the world. Make an animal out of you, my boy. I don't care. I'm not coming, and that's absolutely flat. There, there. It's gone now. 
Ratty, it's just nature's clock. I truly understand. <sighs> just pooped, that's all. Mm. Pooped. Reminds me of Toad. Poop, poop. <laughs> to think he went right back and bought a car after that <laughs> accident. Unbelievable. A car. <laughs> Poor old Toad. Uh, he'll kill himself, you know. Uh, wait till Badger hears of this. Oh, dear. Badger's the only one Toad listens to, you know. Deaf when I say something. To him. Uh. Rat, I'd love to meet Mr. Badger one day. Do you think... Uh, out of the question at the moment, dear boy. Mm. Perhaps in the spring. Uh. Hmm. Poor Ratty. I'd hate to be a hibernistic animal. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Ratty. Ratty. Rat's right. Toad will kill himself or someone else. Someone has to stop him. Oh dear, what can I do? Of course, Badger. Never ever go into the wildwood. It's simply not safe. Not safe. Oh, the wildwood. Oh dear, oh dear. No, wildwood or no wildwood. I've just got to get Mr. Badger. I really do. to stop Toad, your best friend, Mole. <gasps> oh, Molly, what have you done? Molly, I say, Molly. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hmm, weasels. Molly! Molly! Help! Help! Ah, there you are, dear boy. Oh, Ratty, 
I thought I'd never see you. Hush, Mo. Save your breath. It's going to be a long journey home. Again, I'm afraid. Sorry. Mel's luck? Quick, can you dig? I, I think we're saved, dear boy. <laughs> Eureka, Mole! Look! Ed, it's Mr. Badger's house. You're a wonder. You really are. What luck, I say. <laughs> Come on, Mel. Knock. Knock just as, as loud as you can. He's bound to be asleep in this weather. Oh, Rat and Young Mole. Gracious, what have you done to your leg, boy? Come in, come in, the pair of you. Well, that was risky, young fella. Coming out here in the wildwood like that, winter and all. Well, I did try and warn him, Badger, but he, he wouldn't actually have come if it hadn't been for a uh, old Toad. Toad? What's Toad got to do with this? It's bad news, I'm afraid, Badger. Um, Toad has gone completely off the rails. Isn't that right, Mel? Well, it does seem quite unusual. Unusual? Mad, more like it. He's gone mad about automobiles. Automobiles? Oh, Lord. Yes, I I'm afraid so. The thing is, Toad is an appalling driver. Just keeps smashing the things up. <laughs> First it was a red car. <laughs> the front gate, the silly animal. Good grief. Oh, that's nothing. Then he bought a blue car. <laughs> oh, his poor old father would turn in his grave. Takes after his mother's side, I think. She was a frog, you know. Oh, I'm so glad my mother was a mole. Was she? Oh, yeah, I see. Now, about Toad. This is very disturbing news, Rat. How many cars has he... Six. Um, well, seven, if you count the black one, which I presume is still in one piece. Yes, just. Seven. And tell me, Ratty, has he ever hurt himself in all of this? And worse, he's been before the law. Toad of Toad Hall, I find you guilty of reckless driving, of speeding, of causing damage to property, and of being totally irresponsible. You are fined 30 pounds, 2 shillings, and 10 pence, plus costs. Next case. Something has to be done, Badger. He's giving us animals a bad name. That's why we came to you, Mr. Badger. Won't listen to anybody else. Oh, oh dear. You don't mean do something now, do you? It's quite impossible, I'm afraid. You know how it is with us hibernating animals, Rat? Uh, yes. Afraid I do, Badger. Pity. Oh. But wait until the spring. Yes, I'll come then. We'll all take him seriously in hand. We'll make him responsible. I say, Rat... Well, <sighs> oh, I know how they feel. <laughs> Young Toad, eh? What a mess. What a dreadful shame. I say, Badger, this is scrumptious. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> Oh, rather, Mr. Badger. Thank you. Ah, 
the least I could do in the circumstances. What? Who could that be? Sorry to bother you, Badger. Looking for Rat. Oh, there you are, Ratty. They're all worried sick about you back at the river. You didn't come home last night. Come in, Otter. Don't stand out there in the cold. Quite safe, dear boy. <laughs> As you can see, about to come back with Mel here. Mel, this is Otter. Pleased to meet you. Now, I'll take you both back through the Wildwood. You'll be perfectly safe with me. Oh, thank you, Otter. Well, let's not buck around. Come on, Mel. It's back to the river. See you in the spring, then, Badger. And thanks. Yes, thank you, Mr. Badger. Till spring. Goodbye, old friend. Dinner at the dam when you come. Off you go, all of you. Hate goodbyes. Never feels right. <laughs> Well, you two, safe and sound, eh? I'll leave you here. Work to do. You can shortcut back to the river. That way. It's worse than I thought. Right. Oops. That is absolutely that. Take him inside. Shant. Shant. Take them off, then, you two. This is an outrage. In my own home, too. Take him up to the study. <laughs> I say, what a jolly old hoot. <laughs> it is a joke. What? Love a joke. Out. Now then, you should be quite ashamed of yourself. Ashamed. Oh, Ratty. Do you think we've gone just too far? Well, uh, well something had to be done. Squandering your father's money, up before the law, making a complete and thorough fool of yourself, and worse. You're giving us animals a bad name in the district. You're a disgrace to your father's name and your own species. Do you remember this? Oh, no, Badra. Not the toad, Ken. Exactly. And I have your father's permission to use it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It had to be done, Mel. It just had to be done. Gentlemen, Toad here has something to say. Go on. Tell them you realize what a fool you've been and that you're sorry and that you'll never drive a motor car again. Uh, no, I won't. I'm not sorry. It wasn't foolish. It was the most glorious, wonderful thing I've ever done. You backsliding animal. You just told me in there. Oh, yes, yes, in there. I'd have said anything in there. But the truth is, I'm not a bit sorry. And I'm not going to say that I am. What? No, I'm not. And the very next motor car I see, poop poop, off I go in it. I was afraid of this. Oh dear. Yes. Poop poop. Very well. Take him to his room and lock him in. Friends? You call yourself friends? It's for your own good to. You're just sick, dear boy. You don't even know it. Sick? Sick? Ha! Boop, boop! Has there been any improvement? It's been a week now. No, um, worse, I think. 
Now, remember, Rat, he's a clever animal. Watch for any tricks and believe nothing he says. Mole and I will be at the river fishing. Oh, don't worry, Badger. He won't get the better of me. <laughs> Rat. Rat. Oh, rat. Is that you, Toad? Yes. Ratty. I'm ill. Ill. I need a doctor. And a lawyer. A lawyer? I'm afraid so. The sickness. Can't last much longer. Will. Must make a will. By Jove's. A will. No, he, he must be sick. I would have suspected something had it been just a doctor. A lawyer? No, no, that, that is serious. Ha! <laughs> Rat, my dear friend, silly boy. <laughs> free, I'm free. Toad wins again. Brain wins against brute force. <laughs> Toad comes out on top. I'm mean, just looking at it, is there? Hmm. I wonder if this sort of motor car starts easily. Hey, oh, toad of toad hole! Constable, what do you do for a living then? All right, on your feet, Mr. Toad. I've heard all about you. You're under arrest. The only difficulty with this case is how to punish you severely enough. <laughs> now, guilty of stealing a most valuable motor car, guilty of damage to property, guilty of driving in an extremely dangerous manner, and guilty of gross impertinence to the police. <laughs> Mr. Clark, Tell us, please, what is the stiffest sentence we can impose upon uh, upon this miserable creature you see cowering in the dark? Uh, four years for, uh, and six for, uh, and eight for, uh, and then there's one for. Uh, I make it nineteen years, Your Honor. No, twenty, just mm -hmm. to be on the safe side. Twenty? Is that all? Oh, well, prisoner. Pull yourself together. Stand up straight. <laughs> Twenty years for you, and if you ever appear before this court again, we shall have to deal with you very seriously indeed. <laughs> Take him away. And may you rot in here day and night until even your closest friends have forgotten that you ever existed and you'll have even forgotten your own name. Number 246. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, no, Pedro, where are you now? It's just odd that he simply disappeared. Yes, it, it's a very bad show all around, I'm afraid. You don't think he's... do you? I don't know, Mole. If he is, we can share some of the blame. 
I think we went too far. Uh, excuse me? Uh, I'm Irma, the jailer's daughter. I've brought you some food. Take it away. I have no need for it. Oh, come now. They all try and starve themselves to death when they first come in. What's your name? <laughs> Number 246. <laughs> Go on. It's bubble and squeak. Well, just a spoonful. Perhaps two. Now, the moment you hear anything, Rat, you must contact me immediately. I'll be at home. So you're back to the river. Mole, back to your burrow, is it? You locked all the doors. Goodbye, then, Rat, Mole. Your name is Mr Toad. Oh, that much I do know from my father's records. Oh, and I can tell you're a gentleman. But what I can't understand is how you got in here. The fact is, I've been a stupid and vainglorious animal who took no notice of his wise and sensible friends. I was selfish and indulgent beyond even my wildest belief. I've been such a total fool. There, Mr Toad, I... Well, do you have a home to go to? A home? Why, of course. Toad Hall. Toad Hall? Oh, a gentleman's residence of the finest order. Unique. Splendid. Oh, it's an adequate home, that's all. If it's still there. <laughs> Woman who could do with a little money for herself. <laughs> Fact, she's got a figure rather like yours, Mr. Toad. No, look here. I've got a very elegant figure for what I am. And so has she, for what she is. Well, I thought it just might be possible for you to escape wearing her clothes. <laughs> what? Have me wandering about the countryside dressed as a washerwoman? Me? Toad of Toad Hall! Ratty, I'm beginning to think we'll never see Toad again. <sighs> Awful business. Shocking. Shove off. <laughs> oh! Mole, turn around slowly and walk away. Um, our very lives depend on it. Silly mole, stupid rat. <laughs> Toad, all is ours. <laughs> Night, Mrs. See you tomorrow. Night, Jerry. Deary? Oi! Oh, gold! He's escaped! <laughs> Here, Mother, what's the matter? Yeah, I've lost all my money and can't get a ticket. I've got 15 young'uns at home, and my husband's dead. 
Ah, oh, come on. Jump up here, love. You can ride with me. to the village. Someone must know how that. Oh, poor thing. Oh, oh the fresh air has put fire back. Uh, 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 really oh, yes, much, much. Thank you. What a beautiful car. Is it hard to drive? I've never driven a car. I say. Oh, That's enough. Slow down now. Oh, oh, 
Ah, uh, Toad, my boy, welcome home. You're a happy sight for sorry old eyes. Now, Toad Hall. We all know it can't be taken by a conventional attack. Agreed? However, I do have a plan. Rather unconventional one at that, but first, Mole, I have a job that's particularly suited to you. And don't tell me to run away. It's you who run away, and pretty soon too. I know for a fact that a hundred bloodthirsty badgers armed with pistols and swords, six boatloads of rats armed to the teeth, five dozen huge murderous toads, and a number of moles and otters all armed will attack Toad Hall this very night. So there. Move on. <laughs> What I don't understand, same as Toad, is why I give him due warning. Remember what I said about conventional attack, Ratty? What I'm planning is unconventional. We're going in under the ground. And we're doing it tonight, Lance. Now, Otter, tell us what you found out. Well, all the guards will be outside in full force. Make no mistake about that. But my spies have told me that the Chief Weasel had planned to have his birthday party in the main dining hall tonight, and they're still going ahead with it. Splendid, splendid. Now, to answer your question, Rat, I have to reveal a secret I've held since Toad's father died. There is an underground passage. Oh! Oh! I say! Well... It runs from the riverbank right up under the middle of Toad Hall. Your father asked me to keep it from you unless there was the most dire emergency, and this is an emergency. All ready? Mole, you come after me because I'm very pleased with you. Rat, Otter, then you, Toad. What? Go lost? I, Toad, lost? To stop you from chattering. All right, lads, into the breach. Come on, Toad. Stop lagging behind. to give the game away. Now, another ten steps should see us right under the pantry, wouldn't you think, Toad? About here, I think. That door! Toad vanquishes his foes again. Oh, we've won. 
We've won! I say, Badger, couldn't interest you in a cup of tea, could I? <laughs> and there you were, brave little mole, making meal out of that chief weasel. And you ready? Cutlass flashing and slashing? <laughs> oh, yes. And Otter, you downed three in one go. I saw it. I saw it. And Badger, for as long as I shall live, I will never forget the look on them weasels' faces when you charged in over the top of that door. <laughs> to you, dear friends. To you. Toad. Yes, Badger? It's those weasels, not them weasels. Oh. But he did do rather well, eh, Badger? Old Toad? <laughs> well, of course he did. Brave boy, brave boy. Toad! Oh, and there's something else I wanted you all to know. I'm well again. I'm not the least interested in motor cars anymore. Toad! Good old Toad! I say, what's that? It's one of those flying contraptions. I think it's called an aeroplane. An 